RPO plays are probably the funnest plays in the game to use and they're also some of the glitchiest in the game if you know the right ones to choose. Nothing can be more frustrating to an opponent than a glitchy RPO play. RPO plays are probably some of the funnest plays to use and if you know what ones to use they're also some of the hardest plays to stop. So with that in mind today's topic is going to be the top 5 glitchiest RPO plays to use in Madden 22. These plays can be found all over the game but I will let you guys know exactly what offensive playbooks to find them in. As always if you guys want to see more videos like this hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that let's go let's get right into the video for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Now, the first play that I'm going to show you guys is out of the Buffalo Bills offense. This is a play that I put out earlier in the year in a gameplay video. I never actually did a practice mode breakdown. So if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense, Woo! I could do that in an upcoming video. Hit the like button let me know in the comment section. The formation is the open flex close, but the play I'm going to show you guys is the RP read flat wheel now this play it really can be run against any single defense in the game and there really is no way to stop it if you know how to run it correctly there's really only two options there's the b option which is basically the only receiver you can throw to this play is so glitchy if you throw to any other receiver you will get a penalty for like a legal man blocking downfield or something like that i really forget but you have one option you can throw it to the b route and if you throw it quickly enough he will not get that penalty. Essentially against any zone coverage, you can throw this ball immediately and get a catch and run every single time. If you have a fast enough receiver, you can actually catch and run this for a touchdown. But you have to throw the ball immediately. That first defense was a cover two zone. This is gonna be a cover three zone. You're gonna see how for whatever reason, they just don't react to this route. It's a very glitchy route. So we get an easy catch and run one play touchdown against cover three. This route is not as successful against man coverage though, as you can see the defender crosses, follows, and will essentially you know, be on top of it a lot of times. So in that scenario, the only way to really beat this defense aside from handing it off to the running back, which is also a good option by basically holding A and going the opposite direction, is running with the quarterback. The quarterback is the only particular defender that won't get covered in a man coverage, making it easy for him to get a big run every single time. But also remember that holding A and handing off to the running back is a very good option against just about any single defense. And it gives you the option to go in the exact opposite direction, which is typically going to be very hard for your opponent to defend. Next up out of the Arizona Cardinals, we have a very rare play out of the pistol trips left open. The play itself is the counter alert flat. When it comes to regular RPO plays like RPO zone alert bubbles like we have here, essentially the receiver will drop back into a little bit of a swing route. It's a typically a good play against things like cover three and stuff like that like we have here because the cornerbacks drop back. So you can typically get a decent catch and run, but ultimately you lose all acceleration when it comes to plays like this. Now compare that to this play, the counter alert flat, where essentially you have your receiver in an endless flat route that route there is much better than your traditional flat route like if you have a traditional flat route like say in your audibles you'll see that the flat route will only go so far before it comes to a stop basically losing all acceleration this particular play you have blocking and the endless flat route making it much easier for your receiver to have acceleration throughout the entire play plus you notice there's also very good blocking which makes this something that's a much better play to run now while this flat route will have success against just about any zone coverage it typically will get stopped by man coverage you can tell if it's a man Man coverage based off the fact that either a linebacker will be lined up directly in front of the A receiver, or if there's an additional cornerback, if they have four cornerbacks, you'll typically see a cornerback lined up over top of this receiver as well. So against man coverage, you'll typically just have to hand the ball off, and you'll see that you have a pretty good run lane on the counter run based off the fact that the linebackers are typically spread so far. The next play will also be out of the Arizona Cardinals. They have one of the glitchiest playbooks in the game when it comes to RPOs. They have a lot of rare plays you really can't find anywhere else. It's a very college inspired offense uh, with some very unique plays the formation I'm going to show you this play out of is going to be out of the gun open flex the play itself is going to be the RPO read wide flat this play will be more successful based off of the speed of your tight end Zach Ertz is a decent tight end but he's not quite as fast as I would like if you have like a Darren Waller or something like that this play is going to be very glitchy but there also is a caveat if you have a very fast middle linebacker you actually can put a middle linebacker at this spot so if you have a guy like Isaiah Simmons just like close to 90 speed or more he's a perfect substitution so make sure you check that out this is another play that's going to work best against zone coverages for the pass play man coverages for the run plays you really don't have the option to throw to anybody but the Y route once again. This is another play where essentially the longer you hold it, the more of a chance you have of getting a penalty.
penalty. So you really have to throw this ball out immediately for that catch and run. And you'll notice that it's a very unstoppable play, especially against zone coverages. Now that play I ran by itself with no adjustments, but a lot of people don't know that you can actually move this tight end slash linebacker out and make it an even shorter route that he has to run, making this play even glitchier. Now, if you're going to do this though, you're going to want to make sure you run from a hash mark to the open side of the field because you will need that extra catch and run space. So basically, if you want to, you can motion this guy to the line and you'll notice how it makes this play even easier to get outside, especially with the blocking. So now I'm going to get an even bigger catch and run. As you can see, we're getting closer to 10, 15 yards every single time. Ultimately though, against man coverage, you definitely don't want to motion this receiver out. You'll have more success as the linebacker bites on the actual run play than if you motion him out. If you motion him out, he will cover the receiver right away. But ultimately, it's best to hand the ball off by holding A against man coverage as that's gonna be your best option. You can see there, I got about five yards. This is gonna be a play where you can essentially take it wide in the opposite direction and have a lot of success on the ground just as much as in the air. Next up, we have one more play from the Cardinals. Might as well get them all out in a row. The formation is the gun slot offset. The play itself is going to be the RPO read bubble. A lot of these plays are going to be very similar when it comes to running versus passing. Running will be best against man coverage. Passing the ball will be best against zone coverage, especially cover three and cover four once again the cornerbacks play back. All you're going to want to do is throw this ball out as quick as possible because if you hold the ball too long, you'll notice that the running back gets the ball automatically. There you can see the blocking sets up perfectly and I get an easy 10 yards. You can always substitute this X receiver with a tight end for better blocking, but ultimately the most important thing is this play is going to be best run against zone coverages where the cornerbacks play back, or at least when they start playing back like they are here. Cover three and cover four are going to be best because the cornerbacks will start playing off the ball and then they'll drop back even further once the play starts, giving you plenty of catch and run space just as long as you get that ball out quickly enough. And then you can see your receiver typically does a pretty good job of setting the edge and letting you get as much catch and run space as possible. Now this route is essentially a flat route similar to the previous plays they typically won't beat man coverage but since this is a flat route that comes out of a pre-snap motion it typically will based off the fact that in madden for whatever reason the man defender that's supposed to cover the motion receiver doesn't follow pre-snap so this is something where he'll essentially just get wide open and you'll basically just have to beat your defender to the edge so anytime you see a man coverage especially a man zero blitz which is what we're looking at now you'll notice that this particular play is simply going to be a sprint to the edge if you have a faster running back then they have a faster defender you can get gone from a play like this and that really works with any man coverage and then last but not least we have a play out of the baltimore ravens playbook the formation is out of the pistol strong slot and that play is the stretch alert dragon now this play doesn't look as exotic as some of the other plays some of the other rpos but it really is a perfectly designed play based off of the formation with the two receivers on the left side and the stretch run on the right side the the stretch run can really have success because just about any single defense in the game other than maybe cover two hard flats. If you run against man coverage, which is what I'm looking at now, based off the fact that there's two receivers on the left side, both of the cornerbacks will be on that side as well, typically leaving the right side wide open, especially against cover two man where both of the safeties will typically play back. So if you have a man coverage or even a cover three, cover four, where the cornerbacks typically drop back post snap, the run play here will be especially deadly. As you can see, there's really not a lot of resistance out here to stop this play. Now, as far as the receiving options go, once again, you have a man coverage route and you have a zone coverage route. The slant is going to be great against man coverage based off the fact that typically slants beat any man coverage. And the B route's going to have a lot of success against zone coverage is because there's nothing underneath here under the flats to take that away. Once again, you have to watch out for hard flats when it comes to that. But basically, if you're looking at a cover three like I'm looking at now, the B route or even the running back here, once again, will have a lot of success because you can see the cornerback drops back. He's nowhere to be found when I hand the ball off to the running back, making this a very explosive and hard to stop play. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos based off of unique play concepts like this, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. If you need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.